Surprisingly, I don't have that many sequel trilogy Star Wars drawing tutorials here on this channel, and that's mainly because uh, these movies came out in December. December is usually when I slow down a little bit and take a break from from drawing because, well, I want to spend Christmas uh, holidays with my family as well. So that's just how it's been. What's going on, Draw2 crew? Ram here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys. And today we are going to draw Rey or Rey Skywalker as she has come to be known from the Star Wars movies. Here we go. All right, so before we officially begin, be sure to read the description of this video. Down there, you'll find a list of my drawing tools, some tips to succeed in your drawing, and a link to a free coloring page based on this video tutorial. And having said all of that, grab your drawing tools. Let's get started drawing Ray. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with our Ray tutorial. I've got my paper in portrait mode. We're going to be drawing here kind of just up to the waist here. Uh, anyway, before we start, I do want to mention that we are not going to be um, focusing on making this drawing look like the actress Daisy Ridley, so don't worry about that. That is not the goal of this. We're gonna draw Ray, just the likeness of Ray Skywalker. Ray Skywalker? Yeah, Ray Skywalker. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. I'm going to be drawing her a little bit lower down on the page because I do want to leave a little bit of room here for her uh, lightsaber. So I'm gonna draw my circle for the head right around, right around here. And I'm gonna draw it about this big. Yeah, that's a good size right there, <clears throat> I think. <laughs> Could be a bit bigger, I think. Okay, there you go. So there's the head. And as we do this, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. We're going to get that shape as best as we can. So she's going to be looking down. There you go. And I'm going to draw a center line going right here. And then you want the jaw to narrow. And then just a small little line there for the for the chin. Now that's the thing with the usually male males, if you draw guys, they tend to have more uh, wider jaws and this tends to be a little bit longer for guys. That's just how it is. You want to make a, a drawing look a little bit more feminine. You make those jaws, the jawline a little bit narrower. Okay, there you go. So now we're going to draw the neck and the neck is going to of course be narrow as well. You don't want those, you don't want it to be a huge gigantic neck, right? Okay, so there's our head. Of course, we're going to fill it all in with the hair and all that stuff later. Let me zoom out slightly because what I do want to do is try to figure out the placement of the, the body. And the way that I want the body is just kind of like um, leaning a little bit, somewhat like that. Okay, so here now I'm going to draw the shoulder. Shoulders go down like this. And this one is sort of a little bit higher up, like so. Okay, and we're going to draw kind of like a, a square, and this is kind of where I want the waist to be. So I'm just going to bring this up, zoom in, so you guys know what I'm talking about here. And now it's just a matter of trying to figure out where you want uh, this to be. So the head, of course, is going to be bigger, and now we're going to try to figure out this shape for the uh, for the body here. This is, of course, going to go narrower as you go down because you want to give that a uh, very feminine kind of a uh, wide and then gets narrow and then gets wide again in the hips. So that's sort of what we're trying to look for here. And I'm going to try to figure out if I draw these lines right here, I'm just trying to figure out the shape. You want to make sure that this is pretty square. Okay, there, I think that's good. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. Actually, you know what? I think it might uh, do us a bit more favor if we move it over this way a little bit. And that, that's why, uh, that's why I, for one, I like to use a pencil and I like to draw lightly. So I do apologize. I do get comments sometimes about how frustrating people uh, get when I make mistakes and then they have to erase it too. Well, that's just part of the drawing, isn't it? Like that's part of the drawing journey is the ability to make mistakes and learning from them. Okay, now there we go. I think that's that's good. Okay, so right around here is where I'm going to draw the actual um, waist. The waist is going to be a little bit longer. Actually, it's going to go down a little bit more. So, I'm not too worried about that. It goes down like that. Okay, and then it gets a little bit wider over here. This one goes straight down. Actually, it goes like that. 
and this one goes like this. Okay, so there's our uh, skeletal look. Okay, and then now we're gonna figure out where the arms go. So first things first, we're gonna draw the elbow, and the elbow is gonna go right around here. Okay, and then the other elbow is gonna go right around, right around here. Okay, we want the elbow to be left of center. So if we draw this a little bit more faintly, think of that as the spine, but the actual front of the torso is gonna go right, like right, right here. So there's the front of the torso, or like the center of the front here. Okay, and then the elbow, I would like to be right around here in this area. And then, so just draw a little bicep there. Okay, so here's the elbow. And then, if I'm drawing a line kind of across like this, you want the hand to be right around here. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line going up and down. And then just a square, about a square. It's gonna look like that. Okay, and then I kind of want it to look a little bit more so that it's leaning, because I want this lightsaber to kind of go like this, a little bit sideways. So there's the center of the lightsaber, but it's good to have that as a guideline so that you kind of know where you want the placement of the arms to be. So just draw that, and it's slightly turned. It's not straight going up and down, so it's got a little bit of a a, a lean to the right. Okay, so there's one hand, and then the other hand is gonna be right above over here, so you wanna keep that in mind. So there's the other hand right there, okay? Other hand goes like that, so there's the back of the palm, back of the hand right here, there. Okay, so now we're gonna figure out where we want the elbow to go for this one, and it sort of creates, sort of creates this illusion that it just goes like that. Okay, so, two straight lines going across. Here I'm gonna draw the elbow right around here in this corner. Gets a little bit fat and then narrow. Like that. Okay, you wanna make sure that the elbow isn't like way too far from the shoulder. So just adjusting it slightly. And that should do. So now you've got Ray uh, holding a lightsaber and you've got the hands uh, in this way, if you have it this way, then you should have like a proper placement of the hands. Now I'm just sort of trying to figure out where the handle of the lightsaber is gonna go. Of course, you wanna make sure that it goes in the right spots on those hands. And then, there you go, so there's lightsaber, lightsaber, like that. You can use ruler if you want to. I like freestyling it. Okay, so there's that. And then now we're going to, let's make this a little bit wider. I think it's narrow. And all the while, I should be drawing this a little bit more, um, what do you call it? Uh, it shouldn't be too dark. I'm making it a little too dark. So, you know, just make sure that you make it lighter. Okay, so now let's start um, working on the details of it. Uh, now that we have this shape right here. So the first thing is actually before we even zoom in on the face, let's uh, start working on like adding some of the cl uh, clothing on here. So let's do that. But first let's cut to commercial right about now. Hey guys, this video right here is brought to you by these awesome Patreon patrons. If you are interested in knowing more about how to support this channel through Patreon, check out the link down below, patreon.com slash draw it to for more details. Anyway, let's uh, cut to commercial and then let's get back to business. All right, guys, we're back and I've zoomed in on the torso area. We're gonna go ahead and get started um, with the clothing. Now I've gotten myself a, another pencil that's sharp you know, always make sure that you have sharp pencils. Okay, so we're gonna draw this in layers. So draw them lightly first. I'm going to erase a little bit of that center line there. And first as well, I'm going to kind of draw where the chest is going to be and race chest is gonna be right around here. So imagine, um, yeah, imagine that's kind of where the chest is going to go. All right, there you go. Okay, now there's going to be like this V shape. So think of it as like a, an undershirt and the center is gonna be right kind of above, above this part of the elbow here. So it goes like this and then goes over like that. Okay, so there's that V 
neck undershirt right there. And then there's another layer above it that sort of goes downwards. And this is like the thick, it's like a, it looks like a black tunic, okay? Now we're gonna draw over that, so don't draw it too, too dark. So this is gonna be like a black uh, covering. Now you wanna make sure as well that, uh, you know, if you want to take a look at the reference photo, that's what I'm trying to say here, I do have that in the description. So make sure you check that out. Okay, so there's those two lines and then, and then there's like a third layer that goes across, like so. Okay, so there's like these three distinct layers right here. I'm not worried about this, uh, this shoulder here because it's gonna be covered with hair. But over on this side, you see the, the top layer is gonna be going above like this. And then you see the dark layer. This layer right here, this is the dark layer. So it goes like that and then it comes out the shoulder like so. And then the chest area as well. So it gives that chest the curve. Okay, so this one has some patterns to it, actually. Okay, so you see how there's three layers now. Uh, this top layer has some lines, kind of fold lines. So I'm just drawing these series of lines that go across in front like that. Okay, now this, we haven't drawn the top layer here yet and it's gonna cross right here and go all the way to the shoulder up over here. Okay. So again, here's that dark inner layer. And then the rest of this is gonna be going over the shoulder like so. I'm going to shape the arm a little bit while I do that, because you want the arm to look a little bit more shaped. There you go. Okay, I'm widening the hole here. Like that, so there. So now let's go back here, let's add those wrinkle lines. And I'm just using my pencil and just randomly drawing these lines. Of course, I don't draw from one edge to the other. I kind of lift my pencil and just build up like so and there you go okay so there there we have it you guys that's the top layer right there and then this one kind of goes all the way to the waist and it goes kind of underneath the elbow here it goes like that okay and then same thing over here okay so this one goes this way i'm going to actually bring this a little bit higher up the waist there you go so even more narrow and then this right here goes this way, and this goes this way. Okay, so it sort of crosses each other like an X with this side on top of this side, like that, right there. Okay, this right here, I'm going to add a little bit of a... There you go. So you see that A sort of goes like that, and then you have this like little dark area. And this dark area here is part of the dark layer of the, um, uh, of what do you call, like it's, it's the middle dark layer. So I'm just gonna color that in. Okay, there we go. And then the neck just goes in nicely like that. So there's the um, torso now. And then I'm just going to draw the arm wraps. I'm going to start right there. So we've kind of given shape to the upper arm already. The shoulder should be nicely defined. Okay, and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to draw the wrist guard. And it goes into the hand like this. Okay, and then right around here. Like that. So here's the wrist guard. And I'm going to start right here and very, very loosely, I'm just going to draw these rounded zigzaggy lines. So 
see how I move my finger kind of back and forth there to break off the straightness of it. Okay, wrinkles here. And now you see how I change the curve of it so that it curves the opposite way. All the way to the top. And then when you get to the edges here, you think of them as layers. So the, the wrapping on the right goes under the left. Simplify this one. There's a strap going across the wrist and then like a rectangular shape over it, like so. And that's it. Okay, this goes like that now. If you guys zoom in, if I zoom in, not you guys then I'm just wrapping the thumb around there, round, and then over here, I'm gonna draw the four knuckles, one, two, three, and they get smaller as we go down. So it looks like that, and then here's the bottom of the lightsaber, like so, and this is gonna be darker colored. There you go. Okay, so there's one arm. Now the other, we're gonna first draw the four knuckles. One, two, of course the middle knuckle is gonna be the biggest. Three, four, and then draw the fingers going across. Now the fingers, you gotta draw those knuckles on the fingers as well. Okay, so each one of them has like this curve. Three and then four. Okay, lightsaber has some buttons or like these little things that stick out like so. We're here and over here. Not too worried about, you know, making it super accurate to um, Luke Skywalker's blue lightsaber. I think that's what this is, right? Uh, but yeah, there we have it. And then now let's make this hand go in like this. Now this arm does not have like this brown wrist strap like this one. So we're just going to continue those wraps. Okay, and this one gets a little bit like lower like this. So it's the rounded, roundedness of it gets a little bit more prominent. Okay, and then over here, the uh, the strap or this wrap doesn't go all the way up the top like this one does, so it's not that high. So you see a little bit of raise arm muscles, biceps right here, and a little bit of the armpit and then the shoulder, like that. Okay, so that's good. Since we're here, you guys, we're gonna move on with working on pretty much completing the, the outfit before we even get a chance to do the face. Not something I usually do, but you know, there are many different steps to completing or different ways to complete a picture. So it's not like terribly, it's not a bad thing. Okay, so now I've gone and I moved this up so I kind of have to move the rest. So here you go, there's the waistline and then there's like this wrap that goes around and then excuse me I burped a little bit and then there's a strap that goes over okay here's the, the strap like that and then I'm gonna draw the bottom of that strap and what it does is it actually stops right here and then goes down like so okay and then bring that this way and then over like that I think this is the holster for a blaster. Okay, right here you got more layered stripes that go across like that. 
careful to clean this up. There's the um, a strap on the strap. Another strap right here. It's kind of layered and it goes like that. And then this one sort of goes diagonal. And then there's this thing that looks, I don't know what it is, but it's just sticking out the back, so I'm going to draw it. There you go. Okay, so now she's got like these flowy things that go this way, and they're actually part of the, this little gray tunic that goes up like that. So it goes this way. Think of it as following through from here going down. So it goes like this, down. Okay, and then this right here follows, and it goes right here, and it goes down like so. Okay, and then lines that go down. Okay, so that's part of that gray, gray cover. Okay, and then think of this as going this way now and going down right around here and out like so. Okay, this is where I'm going to, uh oh, there you go. This is where I'm going to end my drawing right here, so. And then the inside part is going to be the same black layer here. So I'm just going to shade that in. There is a pattern to it, but I'm going to just leave that out. And then right in the back here, that gray area, I'm going to give it a little bit of a waist. And then another layer of gray going out like so. There you go. Zooming out, there's our ray, our headless ray looking good so far. So let's try not to ruin the face because we did a pretty good job with the body. Okay, now let's cleaning this up right here. Let's work on the face. Again, you guys, I mentioned this in the beginning, but don't worry. Don't stress too much about making it look just like Daisy Ridley because that actually takes an entire, um, an entire tutorial on its own to make a, a character look like a character that's got its own sets of rules and stuff. So we're drawing simple lines here. That's sort of what my tutorials have been, are just simple, simple lines. I'm going to draw the bottom of that circle here. So we're left with this shape and then we got to figure out where the eyes go. And the eyes are going to be kind of right around here. And then the nose is going to be right around here. She's going to be looking down. And I'm going to draw, I'm going to simplify the nose so it looks more like a V shape. It gets flat in the sides. But there you go. And then the lips are going to be down here, lower at the bottom. Okay, so it looks like her neck is, or her chin is tiny, but that's because she's looking down. Okay, trying the lower lip for it first. I tend to draw the lower lip before I draw the upper lip. Kind of makes it easier once you have the lower lip done. Upper lip tends to be thinner anyway, so there it is. Again, it's not looking like Daisy Ridley and I'm not, I'm not trying my hardest to make it look like her. Okay, there you go. There's the nose. And sometimes, you know, you can get it right in pencil, then you ink it and it messes up. And I've done that several times. Okay, there you go. And then the eyes are going to be here and right around here. So I'm going to draw the top curve first and make sure that those curves are kind of similar to each other. It's uh, really good. I don't know if you guys realize that I replaced my pencil, but it's really good to have uh, sharp pencils for this. Okay, I'm going to darken the top a little bit more to give it like thicker eyelashes. And then she's going to be looking up. Like that. And I'm going to leave like a some lighting on the eyes on the top left corner. So it looks like so. Okay, and then draw the eyebrows very carefully because if you mess up, it's not going to look, it's not going to look right. Okay, so draw it carefully and lightly at first. 
there you go. Now she kind of looks like, more like a, a um, what do you call those, like elite female soldiers from Wakanda, the Dora Milaje. Looks more like a Dora Milaje right here because she's got no hair. Cheekbones. There you go. Does it look like Daisy Ridley? If you say no, I would have to agree with you because it doesn't. Okay, good. We're gonna draw the ears now. The ears go here. Those are the bottom and then they go up like so. Looks weird without the hair still. That's okay. She's kind of looking like an alien a little bit here. Maybe I made the ears a little too big. She also kind of looks like Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. Okay, now let's draw the forehead. So the forehead line, don't draw it too big. The forehead's gonna go right there. And it's gonna go down here and here. Okay, so think of it as okay, covering the head like that. And then this one goes in front of the ears down to here. Okay, and then these go in front of the ears as well. They go kind of in like so. And then now we can draw the, the hair and sort of the way that the, the hair goes, goes back, okay, like a ponytail. So from the top, it sort of rounds off and then goes to the back here. And then on the sides, it goes like this. Okay, and then now fix the ears a little bit. And then now we're gonna draw the hair going down. And now she should be, start looking more like Ray. And then they curve in like this. Okay, and then there's parts of her hair that go out like that. And then this goes down like so. There you go. I think we got it. I'm gonna make those ears a little less elf looking. So just uh, narrowing it at the top there so that doesn't stick out too much. But I think we've got our ray right here. I'm gonna draw the neckline going down a little bit lower. And I think we've got it. So there's ray. Now all we really have to do is zoom out and make that lightsaber a lightsaber. And I'm gonna do that using a ruler. I don't, I tend not to use a ruler when I'm doing these things, but for this one, I feel it's the best thing to do. So, okay, just to make sure that you're getting like that nice shape here. And it does get narrow at the top, so a little bit of a narrowness. Make this one a little bit more narrow. There you go. And I think, I think here's a good place to end it. And there you go. So yeah, all this time, you guys, I never had a Ray tutorial. Here we finally are. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know we, we could probably do more with the with it, we could add more details to it. I'll leave that to your discretion if you guys wanna add more to this drawing. But anyway, there is our ray. Let me zoom out, center this, this out of the way, and uh, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that. 
a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw2 so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out, links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are found in the description of this video. So be sure to check that out. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys next time.